Hey guys, Perry from Rockville here, and today I'm gonna show you how to set up your DPM powered studio monitors. These speakers are perfect for any studios, computer setups, and much more. Now these speakers come in a series of five inch, 6.5 inch, and eight inch versions. Today I'm using the eight inch versions, but the setup for each of these speakers are exactly the same. And you can also get any of these speakers in three different colors. The painted black like I have right here, the painted white, and a classic wood vinyl finish. Now in this video, I'm showing you how to set up our DPM powered studio monitors specifically, but remember all principles that we talk about today can be used for any powered studio monitors from any brand. So as you can see, the speakers come with a power cable that we can use to power the speakers. So the first thing I'm gonna wanna do is take the female end of the power cable and plug that into the back of the speaker. Then I'm gonna take the other end and plug that into a power outlet. I'm just gonna do the same exact thing on this other speaker here. Now the cool thing is on the back of the speakers, we have three different inputs we can use to connect any device. One way to do that is with the unbalanced RCA input on the back that we can use to connect anything with an RCA output. We also have an XLR input that we can use to connect any interface or mixer. And lastly, we have a quarter inch input we can use to connect any interface or mixer as well. So let me grab an interface and my computer to show you that setup next. All right, so now that I've got my interface and my computer set up, I'm going to now need two quarter inch cables to connect the interface to the speakers. To do that, we'll just take one end of each quarter inch cable and plug that into the quarter inch output on the back of the interface. Then we'll take the other ends and plug them into the balanced quarter inch input on the back of the speakers. So now that we've got everything connected, we can go ahead and turn on our speakers. Then to hear the music coming out of the speakers, you'll want to raise the volume knob on the back of each speaker. Next, you'll want to be sure to raise the volume knob on your interface as well. Now you'll want to be sure to go into your sound settings and switch the output to whatever interface you're using. So now that we've got everything all set up, we can now hear the music coming from the speakers. So let's hear how they sound. Nice, nice well-balanced sound. You hear the bass nice and full, crisp high end, very nice. Now each speaker also comes with built-in high frequency and low frequency knobs that we can use to really dial in our sound. So we can boost and cut the high frequencies anywhere from minus two dB to plus one dB. And we can also boost or cut the low frequencies anywhere from minus two dB to plus two dB. So I hope this showed you guys how easy it is to set up your DPM powered studio monitors. But of course, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always guys, I'm Perry from Rockville and I'll see you next time.